Welcome to Ferritone Studios. I have a Stag SDM70 and I'm going to remove the old capsule and put a new one in. I've bought a kit off eBay. It was 20 quid, so I, I'm assuming that this is quite a good kit and might actually sound like an SM57. They went the transformer. And the kit comes with a new capsule, so that sits in the end of here. It does say SM57 on it, so it seems quite convincing. And um, comes with this tiny little transformer. I do have a Shaw SM57, which I'm gonna use as a reference for building this, just cause this is four wires, uh, red and blue one side of the tranny, and green and yellow the other side, and I'm not quite sure which way around they go. However, I've looked inside the SM57, and it looks like the colors are the same, so I'll be able to work out which are positive and which are negative. Wish me luck. Right, I've taken apart my SM57 just to see what color cables from the transformer go where. Um, and if you take apart the Stag SDM70, this is actually uh, an old broken one. I say broken, the cables have just come off the capsule. I gave it to my kids to play with and they've destroyed it. So if you take this apart, it has no transformer inside. But in an SM57, there is a transformer in some kind of resin. Um, so we're gonna have to put the transformer in this case and keep it there somehow. I'm thinking of just filling that with silicon, but you need the blue and red cable going to the XLR end, so sticking out the bit where you plug it in, and the green and yellow cable, they'll poke out the top to this capsule, and that's what they attach to. Color-wise, I took apart the SM57, and the green goes to the positive lug, and the yellow to the negative. Uh, you can't actually see on the Stag STM57 what those lugs are, but on the um, replacement capsule that I bought, it has a plus and a minus sign, so that gives you a bit of an idea. Uh, it looks like they've also colored the positive one red, which is nice. For the XLR end, you'll need to take out, I've actually fitted this with a, an Allen key fixing. It should have a, a slotted screw that you've got to take out to take the XLR out. If you look at it with the three pins, so there's sort of one in the middle facing them. In fact, if you look inside the end of the XLR, it has the numbers one, two, and three. Number three is where the red cable goes, and number two is where the blue cable goes. So two blue, that sounds similar, that sort of rhymes, and three, middle one. Yeah, what you'll have to do is take the XLR out, um, and then we've got to get this old capsule out of here, out of this uh, metal piece. And it looks like there's a little nut which we're gonna unscrew. So that nut on the end of there, gonna unscrew that. I don't actually know how to take this out, so I'm just gonna unscrew it, um, try and take it apart and probably just hammer it out or something. Just protect the metal shell. I am gonna spray paint this because I'd like to be able to tell which one it is because I've got another Stag STM70 uh, I'm gonna do some stuff with. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and get the capsule out of here so we've just got the metal container and then probably just silicon the transformer in with the cable sticking out the ends today. And then tomorrow, spray paint it and the day afterwards, uh, wire it all up. So quite long-winded, but you know, it'll be fun. Right, I've taken all of the insides out of this. Um, I'm gonna sand it down so I can spray it. And I'm also going to silicon. I don't know if silicon's the best idea. Please comment if it's a terrible idea. I know it will already be too late, but you know, whatever. It effectively clear bathroom sealant. And what I'm gonna do is poke the red and the blue cable through there. So they're sticking out the bottom, the XLR jack end, and sort of fill the inside of there with silicon and 
just leave those two sticking out the top. Um, I can't think of another way of doing it. So the yellow and green will be sticking out the capsule end. <laughs> uh, the silicon will hold it in place. And then tomorrow I'll spray paint it. Don't know what color yet. We will see. Hey, Sandy. Welcome back, I spray painted this. In the picture of the spray paint it looked red and it sort of looked pink now that I sprayed it, but it does look amazing close up. It's a metallic, some kind of metallic paint. I don't know, so I did two coats of gray primer undercoat. Um, I've got, I'll put links to all these in the description. I use this undercoat a lot. Um, get it from Amazon. And then I put two coats, or was it three coats of the red spray. Now I've used this glitter spray before. I've used the purple one. Uh, my guitar rack's painted, the actual track is painted with the black spray and all the hangers are painted with the purple stuff. Also matches my purple Telecaster. And then I sprayed it with two coats of clear gloss. Um, I'll put links to all these in the description, like I just said. I put a little bit of tape over the XLR, cut it in a circle, so I'm gonna take that off. I've got some tape around the thread of the front part of the uh, where the capsule goes of the microphone. Gonna peel that off carefully, make sure it doesn't ruin anything. This clever contraption at the bottom, this is a little mini foam roller. That I've put some tape around the top, and I've used a clamp to hold that in place, and then a bigger clamp to hold the smaller clamp in place, because it wasn't steady enough. Very clever. That looks amazing. Right, now time to wire it. Um, blue and red cable. Blue goes to number two on the XLR. Red goes to number three. One is the ground or earth. And you've got the green and yellow cable sticking up the top where the capsule is. Green goes to positive, yellow goes to negative. Boom. And um, with this part, the capsule just pushes into the top and there's sort of rubber thing that sits inside the threaded end and there's sort of a lip on the inside of it so the rubber thing sits against that and then all the nuts tighten on and uh, <laughs> a rubber thing sits inside the threaded end so on the inside there's a little uh, sort of ridge that holds it in place and then the nut tightens on and then you can just solder it up simple let's do that finished the microphone um, and I've done a quick sound check I only did about 10 seconds just to make sure it works it works which is good um, and I couldn't tell the difference but I'll have a proper listen after doing a bit of an AB so on the screen you'll see going between the two mics telling you which one is which there's the uh, Stag SDM 70 with what 
is described as a Shaw SM57 capsule in it and an actual Shaw SM57. So you can see if they sound similar. What I'm going to do next is put both of these SM57s or SDM70 mics on a guitar cab and play some clean guitar. I'm going to put them just on the edge of the dust cap um, and I'm going to play guitar. I figured that would be the best way to tell if there's a difference rather than put one guitar on a set, uh, sorry, put one microphone on a set spot, uh, record it and then put the other mic in the exact spot because my playing is more likely to be different between those two takes, you know, by the time I've messed around with cameras and all the rest of it, um, than it is to have them around the edge. So from the centre of the cone, the dead centre, they will both be the same distance from there. So I'm not going to put one further out from the centre, they'll both be sort of round the edge of the dust cap. And we will see, I'll do a, an A, B between the two. We'll see if they sound the similar or identical or even close. And yeah, please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you've got an STM-17, if you're thinking of doing this to it. Um, I don't think the paint's dry on it because I can see fingerprints all over it. I always do this when I spray stuff. Yeah, let me know about the guitar. Let me know what you think sounds best as well. listen and then I'm going to tell you what my thoughts are on this. One thing I can see, I haven't listened to this yet, is the STM70 with the uh, SM57 capsule and it says a pretend SM57. It looks louder and everything on the, the desk is set the same for those two channels. Uh, the diaphragm of the mic is the same distance from, I mean everything's the same. I was playing guitar, it, you know, so it seems to be a more sensitive microphone. I'm going to have a listen to it and then let you know what I think. So. Please leave your com comments, let me know what you think, let me know which one's better, I suppose. Um, I mean, if it does sound better, it's 20 quid for an STM70, I'll put an Amazon link below, and the kit's from eBay, and that's 18 quid, 40 quid. Uh, I don't know how much an SM57 is now, I I've had mine for 15 years, so uh, 70 quid, 100 quid, so it's cheaper, but if the SM57 sounds better, maybe look at used ones. Anyway. Leave some comments, obviously like, subscribe. I'm gonna have a listen uh, and then outro, I suppose. Okay, I've had a listen. I didn't even get the whole way through. Uh, I prefer the Shaw <laughs> SM57. It just sounds warmer and thicker. The SCM70 with the, the capsule in it from that's apparently a Shaw SM57. It just sounds a bit brittle. Uh, it's louder, so it's got a higher output. Um, in the um, comparison, I'm going to make them the same volume or same loudness because otherwise you'll naturally generally prefer the one that's louder so for the same volume you'll be able to just hear the character differences um, I'm not saying it sounds bad um, is it a good idea to buy an STM70 and put a new caption in it yeah um, I'll probably do a separate video comparing the standard STM70 to the one with the capsule to see if it's actually worth doing I don't know 40 quid against let's say it's a hundred quid for a Sure, SM57. 
it's a big saving so doesn't sound bad to my ears and you can you can always EQ stuff you know, if it does sound a bit brittle um, take some of the high end off you know it's as simple as that please leave your comments let me know what you think let me know if it's worth doing let me know if you like the uh, pink color it's supposed to be a red microphone but it looks pink to me yeah let me know if it was helpful please like subscribe check out my other videos and I will do a video comparing uh, an unmodified Stag STM70 very exciting to the modded one and hopefully that will help you decide whether or not it's worth doing you know because if it sounds worse than the original what's the point I hope it doesn't sound worse that's quite a lot of time I've wasted so yeah thanks for watching please like subscribe comment and all the links for all the spray paint and all the gear all in the description.